working on loading everything out this morning. Don't have a tremendous amount left. Probably another four or five loads. He's hauling it over there to the fire. Put the bucket block the sun. He's backing up in there and dumping it in the, in the edge of the fire. Most of it will catch on fire. We'll run over there and push it up. Get it all put in the pile today. Last load of brush. Yay, yay, yay. This will be the last load of brush hauled out here. You know why? Because there is no more. There is no more. Nope. Bam. There we go. To the fire pile we go. I'll probably end up hauling a couple loads of this stuff over here and mixing in with these ashes to cool it off. Kind of, that stuff's pretty wet. I'll dump it in there and that'll uh, put some more. Oh, bump right there, pop my damn leg. I was leaning, looking out the side window, not paying attention to the hole I just drove through. Uh, I guess I could use those big things right there to reflect images. And raise it up. One. And off we go. Oh, same hole I've driven through again. Alrighty, coming together, coming together. I'll pull over here and load up a load of this wet or nasty stuff. Um, take it over there and dump it out in the ashes. Mix it all together. That way when I load it, it's just, you know how ashes are. It's like a giant pile of baby powder. Just makes a horrible mess. All right, I'm gonna load this up. We'll get all this cleaned up today, and um, pretty much just let that burn down over the weekend. Tim's down there getting that graded out, slicked up. He's already root raked, so now I just told him just to kind of run over it and blade over it, so that it won't hold water if we just end up getting some rain off of that hurricane. Everything's around the fire now, and the fire is slowly just kind of creeping out into the piles that we've dumped out of the dump truck, which is fine. I mean, it's just kind of nice and slowly burning it. It's not really a huge raging fire, so I may just kind of let it sit here and burn down and do what it's going to do. I got all that cleaned up over there into a pile, and once all this burns down, we'll just probably haul that over here and dump into the ash pile and mix it all together. Was, uh, you saw in the video how dusty it gets all in this stuff trying to load it and maybe uh, maybe it'll all be burnt down and if we do get a lot of rain from that storm I'll come down here and rake the ashes out so that it'll uh, soak up a little bit of moisture but we'll uh, let this burn down a weekend and Tim's about got everything graded out He's working on the back section now not really trying to finish grade it, but just kind of get it all knocked down so there's no big major holes that'll fill with uh, rainwater. Yeah. I'm going to push this back just a little bit so I don't have ashes 30 foot from the pile. And, uh, it's about time to call it a day. This ash loading thing again brought some of that wet roots and junk over here and kind of getting it mixed in maybe won't be so dusty. We're loading this out. I had a couple bucketfuls in the in the last load. The whole truck disappeared. It got pretty nasty. I'm hoping I can kind of mix 
all this in as I dig it. Finish 
bring it over there from over here, but I wanted to get some of this cleaned up and put in the fire before uh, I dumped any more over here. Just kind of keep everything contained as best as possible. Keep from making too big of a mess. All this is uh, the small stuff from where they had the landing at. Pretty much all the branches that were stripped off and the tops. And then everything has been dro driven over and broken all up so it burns very well, very quickly. So I'm not going to put all that on there. Just kind of keep it, keep the fire going nice and hot and keep piling these stumps up as they burn down. Just uh, this stuff gets the fire back going. Once all the little stuff burned out, the stumps are just kind of sitting there by themselves. It needs a little, little small stuff mixed in to get the fire back going, nice and hot. Like this pine stump right here, I'll pull it out, drop it a couple times, and get some more of the dirt off of it. So it'll go ahead and finish burning up. Because what'll happen? As you know, these stumps have got dirt packed all in between the roots. Well, you can drop them all you want. You're still not going to get it all out. Well, you throw it in the fire and let it get nice and toasty. It'll burn all the outer wood off and leave pretty much the dirt ball. And you can take that and drop it a couple times and it'll just clean right off. Throw it back in the fire, kind of like this hardwood stump right here. That's a pine stump. See, it's burnt nothing but all that's left is the end and the all the dirty roots. So you take it and just drop it a few times, see how it'll break all that dirt off. Other than when you get the thumb stuck in it, the, uh, it just kind of knocks all that dirt off. And see, it's ready to go back in the fire now. I can take this. Junk it right up there. Probably won't never see that one again. So what I'm trying to do is we're going to start hauling some of these ashes off. These are from the very first fire, so they've cooled off enough. This stuff right here ain't no way we can haul it off. But what I'm trying to do is mix some dirt in with this to kind of dilute it down a little bit so it's not just pure ashes and dust. Let's see what I can do with this big stump once I can see it again. See how that burnt down so good? Now I can take it. Look at all that dirt coming off.
brain off of it. They really don't know, but by the end of the weekend, they'll have a better, better, better idea of where all that rain's going to end up at. So we're trying to get everything situated here the best it can be. We'll go finish sorting through the rest of this. That'll be about it.